Hi everyone, this is Kirsten and in today's Deutschhappen lesson I would like to show you the superlative a little bit more in uh, the sentence structure in German. So let's start over right away with our first sentence and um, we have Thomas rennt am schnellsten. So Thomas runs the fastest or is running the fastest. Okay, and as you can see, of course, he is running or he runs how am schnellsten, our superlative, is coming after the verb that he des or it describes. In our next example, Lisa ist am nettesten. Lisa is how she is the nicest. Lisa ist am nettesten. There is, however, one thing we can do in German and um, we call it Nominalisierung. So you basically make the adjective or here the superlative a noun to describe your subject more. Whereas here in our first two sentences the superlative always describes your verb closer. In the thing I am going to show you now it describes the subject closer or more in detail. And therefore you need depending on the gender of uh, the noun you want to describe, uh, the normal articles, der, die, or das. You take your adjective and you add S-T-E, so S-T-E at the end. Article plus adjective plus S-T-E. We don't want the S-T-E-N from before just S-T-E. All right, let's take our two original sentences. And as it describes the subject, as a verb, we simply take ist. So we don't need the run anymore. Therefore, we get Thomas ist der schnellste. And as you can see, S-T-E at the end and your article. Thomas is the fastest. And you can imagine if you refer back to the sentence with running. So Thomas is the fastest runner. Thomas is der schnellste. He is the fastest. Same with Lisa. Lisa is die netteste. Again, my verb is simply ist. Lisa is a girl or a woman. Therefore, the D and S-T-E at the end. Lisa is the nicest, the nicest girl, the nicest colleague, whatever. She is the nicest. Lisa is the netteste. All right, everyone, that was it. A little bit more on the superlative in, actually, a German sentence. Hope you like it. Of course, you can join our uh, fan page on Facebook or subscribe on YouTube. You will always find us under Deutschhappen. Take care, everyone. See you soon for another lesson. Bye-bye. Tschüss.